Hello, my name is Seppo Pusa for AcneInstant.com and today I want to talk about omega-3 eggs and uh, answer questions like um, are these eggs a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and whether they can make a difference in the health of your skin. You probably heard of um, omega-3 fats before, like media has been writing them about them a lot and they've been linked to many improvements in many health conditions like anything from heart disease to cancer. And uh, there's also a good reason to believe they are helpful in many skin conditions. So let's see if these eggs could actually make a difference in the health of your skin. So when it comes to these omega-3 fatty acids, it's not so much how much you eat them, the, you know, the absolute amount in your diet. But what matters more is the balance between uh, two essential fatty acids like omega-6 and omega-3. And uh, these fats, they act in a, in a competitive manner in your body. Like they use the same, and or they need the same en enzymes to function. So when you have too much one, like omega-6 for example, it's going to inhibit the functioning of the other one, like omega-3 in this case. And so that's why they need to be in, in balance in your diet. And uh, what is the optimal balance between these fatty acids? We don't know yet. I mean, the science hasn't answered that question conclusively. But there's enough data that we can make some educated guesses and um, and get to some some good point. So, for example, it's been estimated that uh, in the Paleolithic uh, era, in the human diet, these uh, these fatty acids like omega three, omega six, they were in uh, in roughly one to one balance. So for one gram of omega-3, these people got one gram of omega-6. Now compare that to, to what's common in the in most Western diets nowadays, where the balance is like uh, somewhere between one and ten to one and twenty. So for every gram of uh, omega-3, we get 10 to 20 grams of uh, omega-6 and um, also the ratio between omega-3 and omega-6 and how it affects many health, health conditions has been studied quite extensively and uh, I'm not going to go into details now but just say that uh, in, in many health conditions it's been, it's been found or studies have found that ratios between 1 to 2 to 1 to 4 like between those ratios we get a lot of uh, health improvements so that's probably a good place to aim at probably a little bit less than 1 to 4 so like 1 to 2 might be the good balance to aim, aim for and um, one way to get those eggs oh sorry one way to get the omega-3 fatty acids is by eating omega-3 eggs so how much higher they are, this is a question that uh, oh, how these omega-3 eggs compare to regular eggs is, um, is a question that uh, researchers at the University of Sydney wanted to find out. So what they did is that they went to the supermarkets in the metropolitan area in Sydney and they bought different, three different kinds of eggs. They bought organic eggs, they bought regular eggs and they bought omega-3 eggs. And these are based on labels that uh, that are in the packaging. So basically, the same stuff that you can find in in supermarkets. And then they compared the the omega three and omega six content of those eggs. And um, here's the table what they find out. Or here's the table for what they find out. And the one thing with this study is a little bit bad is that they didn't report the absolute amounts per egg but they reported of, uh, of these different fatty acids how much they make of the total fat content like the percentage of total fat content so it's not ideal but we can still use it for comparison's sake so as you can see there is not that much difference between regular and organic eggs they're both very similar when it comes to this uh, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids but uh, when you look at then the omega-3 eggs, you can see that they are already much, much higher in, um, in all of the omega-3 fatty acids. Or in this case, they only reported ALA and DHA. 
and DHA is one of the longer chain omega-3 fatty acids and um, it's actually much more helpful than or much more beneficial to health than ALA. So the ALA content went up by almost 10 times and the DHA content went also up by 2 to 3 times. So there's already a significant improvement in dose. And, uh, but then look at the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. Like for both organic and regular eggs, the ratio is, is pretty horrible, like 1 to 11. Whereas for omega-3 eggs, the ratio is already much closer to the ideal, like in this case it's 1 to 2. Now I also made another table for you and I pulled the data from um, other studies and um, because I wanted to find out the absolute amount of omega-3 in this X, sorry, and then compare that to what you would get, for example, in most uh, fish oil pills. And I included this that data into this table. Now, please note that the, uh, the data for this uh, table comes from a different study than the previous one, so so they are a little uh, so the the data doesn't match exactly for like the ALA and EPA and DHA content are a bit different in these eggs compared to the previous ones. And that's because the fatty acid composition in these eggs, it depends what the chickens have actually been eating. So here are some uh, takeaways from, uh, from this table. Like um, if you look at the omega-3 eggs and compare them to fish oil pills for example, you'll see that uh, two to three, maybe four of these eggs will give you the same amount of uh, omega-3 fatty acids that you'll get from most fish oil pills. In some cases you'll get more from these eggs. So that's already a, a pretty good indication that these, these foods uh, or these eggs are very high in omega-3 fatty acids. Now they are a little low in, in the EPA, like EPA is again one of the longer chain very beneficial fatty acids. But I wouldn't worry about that too much because the humans humans can convert ALA into e EPA quite well. I mean, studies have shown that when the e ALA content in the diet goes up, then the EPA content in the blood also goes up. So, if these eggs are a little low in EPA, I wouldn't worry about it too much. And uh, one more thing from this table is that I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't use these omega-3 eggs as your main or your sole source, only source of omega-3 fatty acids because they are still quite high in, in um, omega-6 and uh, if the ratio is, is omega-3 to omega-6 is like 1 to 2 so that, that ratio for eggs is okay but you have to keep in mind that the most the majority of the foods in your diet are much higher in omega-6 and low in omega-3 so to compensate and to bring your overall diet into balance, you need foods that are high in only omega-3 and that's where things like fish oil, seafood, fish and flaxseed for example come into play. So don't use these eggs as your only source of omega-3 fatty acids. And uh, so before we conclude this video, let's look at the also some real world health effects from these eggs. like. Uh, like do these eggs only look good on paper or can they actually make a difference in your health? And that's, um, that's a question that, uh, that's been answered by a paper published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And uh, what they did in this study is that uh, they gave uh, people four eggs per day for four weeks and uh, they divided these people into two groups. One group got omega-3 eggs and the other one got just regular eggs. And then after four weeks they, they compared the blood values and, and the health status of these people like before and after. As you can see there's a significant increase in the blood levels of, uh, of these different uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Like uh, in most cases these, uh, these values shut up by several hundred percent just by eating four omega-3 eggs per day. And the more importantly, look at the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. I mean, it, it went from quite unhealthy 1 to 7 to already very good 1 to 2, just by eating 4 of these eggs per day. 
so already there we can see that these eating these eggs can actually make a difference in your health and it uh, it affects it affects uh, how much or it affects your overall body's uh, omega 3 to omega 6 ratio and it can bring it to much much healthier balance so that's more or less what I have for this video so let's quickly conclude what we talked here is that uh, omega 3 eggs they are a good source of omega 3 fatty acids and uh, 3 to 4 of these eggs will give you more or less the same amount of um, omega 3 fatty acids than you get from most um, fish oil pills maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less depending on the on the brands and the eggs you and the eggs you eat they may be a little bit low on um, on some of the longer chain fatty acids so it's still a good idea to take fish oil and uh, not rely on these omega-3 eggs as your only source of omega-3 fatty acids and the, another reason for that is because these eggs like all eggs are high in omega-6 also and uh, to bring your overall diet in balance you need some foods that are high in omega-3 and low in omega-6 so that's where your fish oil and flaxseed and um, other foods come into play. So that's about all I can fit into this video. I have more about this on my blog because the, I cannot, I, there's only so much I can put into one video. So please check out my blog post if you want more. The, all the studies and the references are there. And the link for this, uh, for, for the blog post you'll see below this video. So check it out there. Also check out my blog acneanstein.com where I'll give a lot of rational advice about uh, natural and alternative uh, acne treatments. So that's it. My name is Seppo Puzo for acneanstand.com. Thanks for watching.